Hi there, Dr. Stacy Naito here. I am a board certified physician and I am also an admitted plant fanatic. So I actually was a plant fanatic about 20 years ago and I had over 70 plants inside my space. And then I tapered down significantly over the years. I got down to six plants, which I had for a number of years. And then when the whole lockdown hit last year, I started to get into plants again and it was about May of last year, and now we are in late June of 2021, and I have over 150 plants inside my house. So, that's just how it's been, that's how it's going, I guess it's going well. So I love talking about my plants, and talking about care needs and, and whatnot, because I seem to have a pretty green thumb, and so I like to you know share my knowledge and my little tidbits and all that uh, for people to just have greater success with their plants. So, today I'm going to feature the Juncus effusus spiralis. Now, this is a plant which grows in boggy marshes. Supposedly, the origin is Japan, but there was nothing really confirming that. Like, I looked online and it didn't seem like it was definitively, you know, um, from Japan. So, I don't know. Grows in boggy marshes. That's what I do know. So this is actually a new specimen, so I'm going to use this for reference. So it's in a four inch uh, pot. And so when I got my Juncus spiralis, my Juncus effusus spiralis, I had gotten it on March 27th, 2021. It is now June 28th, 2021. So talking about three months, this is what my Juncus effusus spiralis looked like three months ago and this is what it looks like now so it is gigantic so just to give you like a point of reference so there's this little guy and now this is this is what they can become when they're happy so these plants definitely want an appreciable amount of sun. So this is right near my kitchen window. It's about, gosh, I mean, maybe six inches away from my kitchen window, which is a southwest facing window. So this specimen gets plenty of bright indirect light and it also gets about two to two and a half hours of direct light in the late afternoon. So. Um, what I've noticed is there's always going to be like a little bit of brown, like if I come closely to the camera, come in close, you're going to see just like little bits and pieces here and there, like right here, there's a little bit of brown. Um, I tend to cut them off. I just, I like trimming my plants and, you know, making sure they look their best. So there's a little bit of brown there. Okay. But overall, it's very healthy, very lush. Roots are coming out from the bottom like crazy. So, oh, and I paid $6 for this. So, <laughs> it was well worth it. Anyway, it doesn't seem like it really needs a lot of humidity. I mean, I have it near a humidifier, but it doesn't seem like it craves it. So that's not an issue. But the way you water this, I think is critical because I've heard that some people have had these things die on them. So, I'll tell you what I've been doing and it has worked like a charm, okay? What I do is I have a pebble tray and I'm going to show you. I have a, actually it's just the cash pot is serving as the pebble tray. So I have pebbles in there and you can see there's some, oops, I think I just dumped some water in there. But I have water in there, okay? And I usually have enough where it's, you can kind of see the water, like the, the level. So I do use spring water and what I do is I make sure that there's maybe about a sliver, like about a quarter to a half inch level of water inside the cash pot at all times, okay? Don't ever let the pebbles dry out. Now that being said, not once in the three months that I have had this plant have I top watered it. I have never, ever, ever top watered it. And I think what's going on with some people is, is they are top watering it and it just, it causes root rot with this plant. So it just wants to sit in the water, 
like it would do if it was in a boggy marsh, okay? Uh, if you think about boggy marshes, maybe especially like during like the summertime, so there's going to be a lot of water on the bottom, but there's not going to be much rainfall, so the soil is going to be relatively dry. So, so I'm checking the soil here, and it's just slightly moist, slightly damp. So, you know, this is just a natural uh, bottom watering plant. It just it takes the moisture it needs when it needs it, and so honestly, it is a little bit more. I guess high maintenance for me because I do have to check every couple of days to make sure that there's water in the cash pot but other than that I mean I'm not watering from the top ever so anyway that is my summary of care on the Juncus effusus spiralis it's a really cool plant it's really neat it's just got like these really cool spirals some are more spirally than others some are like more like wavy kind of like I don't know hair texture I guess <laughs> get some wavy hair you get some curly hair and you get some straight hair so these are great plants I think they're really fun and they're relatively inexpensive so it's not going to break the bank for you to get one of these lovely things and maybe have it sitting in a sunny windowsill and uh, yeah I think they're cool so Thanks for listening and watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.